This is how to 3D print your own house. Hey guys, I hope you are doing great. This project is based on our previous experience with Autodesk Remake. I showed you how to 3D print basically anything, but I felt like I had to step up my game. This time around, instead of walking along a path around an object, you would see how that would be a problem with an entire house. We will be using a drone. What we are doing is called photogrammetry and if you would like to know more about it, you can watch my full guide up here. Alright, let's pop this up in the air and we'll go from there. Alright, here we are. Hopefully you can hear me. It's really windy today, so I apologize for that. But let's begin by swapping over to photo mode. Now let's go to the advanced flight modes, choose uh, point of interest and go to the center point of the house, the middle point. The drone will rotate automatically around that point. All right, that looks good. We are at six meters of altitude. Let's click apply and then make the radius, the radius out, so fly outwards. All right, now click start. And the drone will automatically start to rotate around the house. So now I'm confident that the drone can do an entire lap without crashing. So now let's begin taking some photos. Approximately every two seconds I will click the photo button on the controller. It's always better to take too many photos than too few, so you can always remove later if you wish. Go to point of interest, click apply, and take the drone even further out this time. So the goal this time is to capture even more of the house at more of an aggressive of an angle. Just make sure you capture as much of the house as possible. That's basically it. Alright, so once again I will take a picture every two seconds. Alright, that's probably every second. Just keep spamming. All right, there we go. I will stop it once again. This time I will face the camera straight down and follow along a path around the entire house. Ooh. Now you may wonder, well, Simon, aren't you going to be in the 3D model since you stood in the middle of the garden? And yes, I am. And that's why I'm going to redo all of this while standing inside controlling the drone. So I'm not interfering with the photos. Once again, if you wish to know the process, a guide of how you do this in Autodesk Remake, definitely check out my previous video I did on Autodesk Remake. It is such an awesome software. You definitely want to check it out, but we shall begin importing the photos. At this point it's a waiting game, it takes a few hours for the software to process all the images, so I'll be back once it's done. And we are ready to download, let's do this. So, my expectations for this project very, very suddenly fell. So, what did I do differently to make this look a whole lot better? Still not perfect, but a lot better. Well, I brought the drone a lot further away at a much higher altitude to capture the whole picture. And that's why you can see it has been able... Oh, sorry. 
it has been able to capture a lot more area than it did the first time. I then brought the drone a lot closer in to capture the detail of the house. And again, it doesn't look perfect, but it does look a whole lot better than before. Is it good enough to be 3D printed and recognized as my house? I don't think so, but I don't think we're gonna get better results either because I've done this a dozen times and what limits me is the 250 photos limit. So you can only use 250 photos. If you were able to use a thousand photos, I think it would look a whole lot better. But I do think with a little polishing we can make this look decent. I have been polishing this for an hour and uh, I mean there is still some issues like right uh, but it does look a lot better and I think it's ready to be 3d printed and if anything it's really cool to see your house in a 3d environment like this so if you have the possibility to do it definitely go for it all right I am excited to see this let's go Alright, I really hope this works. I have scaled it so it's almost the same size as the heated bed of the Creality CR10, so 300 by 300 millimeters. So it's a pretty good size. I will be using blue PLA filament and, and it will be around 15 hours before this print is done, so we better get going. Oh, that is so cool. It's, it is just something special about having a drone take images and have a software generate those images into a 3D model that you later can 3D print and now I can hold and watch my house in a 3D environment. It's, it's just something special about it. I know the quality is not the best, but that's not why I'm excited. I'm excited because it worked. My first attempt of 3D printing my entire house worked. Already looking for alternative softwares that can do this even better. And I think it's definitely possible, so. Yeah, I hope you did enjoy watching this video. Um, I'll see you again soon. Have a nice day. Bye.